Thank you, nurse. I'm sorry, there's no easy way to say this, but your condition really is very serious. You won't have realised this at the moment, but you're in a coma. Coma? Yes. I first diagnosed symptomless coma three years ago, and since then, the number of cases has been steadily increasing. I've even got a headache. Very characteristic of the early stages. Obviously, parents in particular have a lot of difficulty coming to terms with symptomless coma. I think that might be out, right, Mum. You're not love. I need to get out, Mum. He's asking us to leave him alone. They get very tired. Or does he want to get out? Uh, no, he wants us to go, Mr. Casper. Dad? Well, his son. Yeah. Um, I think we'd better go before he gets upset. Well, couldn't we just... I'm afraid he's likely yeah. to become a fool to himself, Mr. Casper. Yeah. Well, it's my best go. Yeah. Well, take care. Bye-bye, mm. love. Right. See you soon. Yeah. 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 Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye -bye. Yeah. Uh, nurse, uh, could you double the benzodiazepine, please? To watch a patient in a state of unavoidable decline runs against every instinct I have. When the dreadful day comes, I try and make things as easy as possible for the family. Even then, their hopes can be very unrealistic. Oh, oh, did he feel that? No, he didn't. I'm afraid it was just a reaction. But he moved. I'm sure he felt something, didn't he? If he felt anything, I'm afraid it would only have been excruciating pain. Sadly, there's no likelihood of a cure in the foreseeable future. I hope that one day there will be a cure. But until that day, many more young people are going to die. And I'll have to do this job again and again and again.